What's up? I don't normally do videos like this, but this video goes out to Marshall Mathers the fourth. Now, Marshall, I'm gonna be talking directly to you, okay? You may remember me, you may not remember me, but I know you're watching this video because you watch every video that has something to do with you. So, this video, I'm gonna say beforehand. I'm not gonna be making fun of you. I'm not gonna be trolling you. I've never trolled you. I'm not gonna be negative towards you, all right? There's no hate in me for you. I've never hated you. I've never been angry with you. So, this is not gonna be one of those videos, okay? But I do have to say a few things about, you know, Base Shaman's community, the Lockjaw crew, or, you know, Starship Lockjaw. I do have to say a few things that you got wrong, dude. And I feel that I have to correct you on a few things, alright? So, Marshall, you may remember me, you may not, but I definitely remember you. And we've had, you know, contact before. Not privately, but, you know, on Base Shaman's you know, YouTube, his comment section, live streams, we've had that kind of contact. Now, I was part of, you know, I was really involved with Bay Shaman's community back in the days when he first started, because when he started live streaming and doing consistent videos, you know, away from TCAP, I was there, I was amongst the, you know, maybe first couple hundred, you know, the first couple of subscribers that he had the first hundred maybe one of the first thousand i'm not sure but i was there when he began live streaming and i was most definitely there when he brought you to our attention he started doing videos on you and it was more for it to analyze you to understand you why did you have this mindset but i think i read between the lines a little bit more maybe i'm right about this or maybe i'm wrong but i kind of took the videos also as how can we prevent ourselves from going down this road from having this mindset? How can we help those who are going down this road or who already have this mindset? Because back then, the Lockjaw crew, what Bay Shaman wanted to establish was something that was fucking cars. Was something that was positive and something that was supportive. And that's why many people were drawn to Bay Shaman back then. I don't know the dynamic of today, it's completely different. And I don't participate in it as much, but occasionally I'll pop in. So, Bay Shaman brought you to our attention. He started doing more and more videos. I'm gonna admit this. There was a vast majority of Bay Shaman subscribers that did not like you. And they have their reasons, and I understand. And I could tell you that. There was a smaller contingent that trolled you. But Marshall, you have to take into account, besides that, even that vast majority that didn't like you, they wanted you to get out of this mindset to stop bitching. So basically, they wanted something good for you. And that leads me to the other contingent of the Lockjaw crew that wanted to help you. And I was part of that contingent as well. Me and a couple other people were. And some of those people I still know to this day, and I can vouch that they're actually good people. Marshall, you came on to Bay Shaman's videos and you would always retaliate against those who said something less than polite about you. And I remember that we had to tell you like, hey, Marshall, you need to develop a thicker skin. Ignore them, dude. That's the best that you could do. And you would fire back like, oh, I can't ignore them because they're making fun of me. They're getting me angry. They're harassing me. I remember speaking to you many times. I remember telling you like, hey Marshall, you need to ignore it, dude, because you're feeding into it. Bay Shaman was kind of like that. When Bay Shaman started streaming, people would say something or they would chastise him. He would get annoyed and he would block him and then he would just, his mood would just be like, you know, not happy, but then he'll bring it back. And Bay Shaman had to learn how to develop a thick skin and just let it go. And that's what you needed to do, dude. You needed to learn how to play off of that or just develop a thick skin and just let it just let it bounce off you. And that's something that you didn't do. And we try to help you, Marshall. So with that being said, you had exposure. You had maybe a community that didn't like you necessarily. You did have those trolls in said community, but you also had people that were rooting for you, like me. I was part of those people. And the thing is, Marshall, if anyone disagreed with you, you would lash out on them, even the people trying to help you. 
and you still have that behavior to this day. And I see it. And when people try to help you out, I understand you don't want the help, but you tend to lash out on people that, you know, don't necessarily agree with you. Now, I'm here to tell you that I don't agree with anything that you stand for. I don't agree with the black pilled in cell ideology. I just don't agree with it. I agree that, you know what, the world is fucked up. This country is getting fucked up, whatever. That's my view, but I'm not into the black pill thing, but I respect your views. But you got it all wrong when you said that, you know, Bay Shaman's community, his subscribers, they're all blue pill normies. Most of his subscribers hated me and wanted nothing to do with me because his subscribers were a bunch of blue pill cucks, normies. Cause I'm here to tell you, Bay Shaman's community, his subscribers are anything but normal. None of us are normal. Some a little bit more sane than others, but I've come across real creepy people. And I've actually had to go toe to toe with some of them. And I've had to ban some of these people. And some of these people that I banned were the people that used to troll you from Bay Shaman's community. Because we would tell them to leave you alone. To stop harassing him. If you don't like him, you don't like him, but just stop talking bad about him, leave him alone. Some of them we had to ban. And I remember I had to ban a few people. And I got flack for that. I caught flack from there from a bunch of little little losers that just wanted to harass a guy who's obviously having problems. When I told them to leave him alone and they kept doing it. And then I banned them and then they get butt hurt. And then they talk bad about me and then they cry and then they go cry to shaman and then shaman would be like hey baron why did you whatever because i was a mod back then but the truth is is that you did have an entire community maybe not necessarily like you but want the best for you and they were actually rooting for you so you had the support of an entire community hundreds maybe even thousands of people and you did squander that you squandered it by just being very, very hostile towards everybody, including those who wanted to help you, who were on your corner. And at this point, I was getting fed up with you because you kept lashing out on me. I was just annoyed that, you know what, I'm trying to like be good to you and I want the best for you, but you have to treat me like I'm one of the trolls. And that's not the right way to deal with them. So I told you to go fuck yourself and I left it as that. Now, I'm just here to tell you this, dude that you got it all wrong and I felt the need that I had to respond to that because I don't think it's necessarily fair to those people that actually wanted the best for you and I've been watching your videos here and there throughout the years I'd also like to interject with the whole normie comment about how like you said that normies they've never suffered in their life normies people who never suffered for shit never suffered for any reason at all in their lives who just had good things and wonderful things happen to them in their lives, their whole entire lives. So they could obviously never understand me, never relate to me, never connect with me, never agree with me, never see things from my point of view, never walk a day in my shoes. How do you know that normal people haven't suffered? Quote unquote normal people. That makes no sense because life is all about struggles and life is all about strife. And Honestly, maybe some people have suffered more than others, but everybody suffers. Everybody goes through that dark time. I've been through my dark times. So that's not fair to assume that just because a person is quote unquote normal to you based on maybe their experiences that you didn't have that they did or anything that they have that you don't, that's pretty fucked up for you to determine that without at least getting to know the person because everybody has their own struggles. And I've known people who are, you know, considered normal. They've been through the most unspeakable things in life. So I don't know, Marshall. You got that all wrong, too. And in your more recent video that you did to um, Grease Wizard, you said that you wanted somebody, some YouTuber or someone to make a video in a positive light about you. Well, this is what I'm going to do, Marshall. I'm going to pick out a few things that I found positive about you. People say that you're average looking, you're not bad looking. I'm inclined to believe that. And that's no homo. It's whatever. You have a heart. And the reason why I say that, 
or at least you have a heart for your family is because one of the videos I saw a long time ago and it was about your brother and his mental struggles and your brother came out of the hospital and he told you everything now this was the brother that you always fought with but you told your brother that no matter what you're always gonna love him and he's always gonna be your brother that was really really kind of you that was really family oriented that was that was sweet of you dude and you show off your cats you know you show off your animals and that tells me that you do care you're like me you're very honest you just shoot straight to the fucking point you don't care you say what's in your mind you say what's in your heart and after that I can't say anymore because there isn't any more. The thing is, Marshall, you want people to paint you in a positive light, but you can't even paint yourself in a positive light because every other video that you make is always negative. It's always about how you can't get a girlfriend or how Western women suck, how you hate women that take dick up the butt, <laughs> you know, suck dick, all this stuff. How you're ugly, how you won't be this, how you're that. You don't paint yourself in a positive light. So how do you expect someone else to do it for you? And furthermore, your videos don't spread cheer. They don't make people happy. There's nothing to be happy about. They don't make people smile. And you don't even, you're not even happy. So you can't expect people to make videos about you in a positive light when you don't do those things. It's not how it works, Marshall. What you have going on with these trolls with like Pebrick, Ugwa, you know, Pod 2, and it was Flank Castle, I believe. Mortal Kombat, to name a few, and he's gone. And the reason why you have trolls, you give them the ammunition and it's easy to troll you with it. Because you lack awareness. And you have no self-control. And this is the reason why you get trolled. This is the reason why you have Pebrick still trolling you. And he said it best. He said it himself. You keep giving us the ammunition. And that's just what it is, Marshall. If you want to see who the biggest troll in your life is, it's not Pebrick. It's not Ugwa. It's not Royal Air. It's not Marshall Mathers the Seventh. It's not Fuan Castle. It's not Pod 2. The biggest troll in your life is the person that you see when you look in the mirror. And you don't know it. If you understood that you give these people the ammunition, maybe things will get better for you in a sense that people won't bother you so much. But honestly, Marshall, I laughed at some of your videos. I'm not gonna lie, because you say a lot of bizarre shit. And it's kind of funny. I laugh at some of your videos, I laugh at you sometimes, sometimes, so I'm not innocent, but honestly you lack awareness, but the thing that I don't agree with that what's happening to you even though you make it easy for them to do it, I don't agree with the heavy trolling, I don't agree with trolling that involves people pretending to be you, saying that they're gonna shoot up a school so the FBI could come to your house, I don't agree with that stuff. Just like I wouldn't agree with swatting. I don't agree with doxing. And you don't either, but then you want to dox the people that are trolling you. It's kind of hypocritical, Marshall. And, you know, that's all I have to say, dude. Like I said, I never hated you. I never troll you. I just dislike the way you go about things. I dislike your views. I dislike the fact that you don't have awareness. But I don't hate you. I never did. And I don't hold anything against you. I don't agree with you, but I respect the fact that you're allowed to live the way you want to live and you're allowed to have whatever view you want to have, so long as you don't hurt others or yourself, Marshall. Because believe it or not, I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. With that being said, I'm going to cut it short. And what I'm going to say this, Marshall, I wish that you would reform still, but that's entirely up to you. And I'm not going to make that mistake again. And people really need to understand that the fact that you're set in your ways, you don't want the help, you never do, you don't want to better yourself, you just want to be black-pilled, you just want to be incel, you want to be sad, you want to be depressed, that's your thing. And people need to understand that they need to leave you the hell alone, and they need to stop wasting their fucking time and trying to help you, because it's not going to work. All in all, Marshall, 
Like I said, I don't agree with you. I never will. But I don't hate you. I want you to be safe. And whatever you got going with this Pebrick guy or these trolls, you need to handle it yourself. And you need to find a better way to handle it, dude. Because this ain't it. This is coming from one Eminem fan to another. Take it easy, Marshall.